Now from the Target 12 investigators, an update on the signature scandal in Rhode Island's first congressional race. We're hearing from Lieutenant Governor Sabina Matos one day after state election officials met behind closed doors to discuss signatures submitted by her campaign. Target 12 investigator Alexandra Leslie caught up with the Lieutenant Governor at the State House today and joins us now with an update. Lieutenant Governor Sabina Matos told me she has not spoken with the Attorney General's office about their joint criminal investigation with Rhode Island State Police into what happened. But she did say that she's concerned about the impact it's had on her campaign and her image. There are still questions about signatures submitted by the Sabina Matos campaign required to get her on the ballot for Rhode Island's first congressional seat. Do we have a motion to resume open session at 344 p.m. and to seal the minutes of the executive session? The Rhode Island Board of Elections met behind closed doors on Tuesday to discuss widespread reports from some people who said their signatures were forged on nomination papers for Matos. Board officials were not initially eager to take questions about the signature scandal with reporter Tim White. Mr. Raposa, you, can, you can't talk to us real quick? The board declined to take further action about the Matos matter, saying her campaign had enough signatures to qualify. Executive Director Bob Raposa later agreed to talk to reporters, offering limited information about the AG's involvement. Well, all I can report is what I, I know, and that is a criminal investigation. I asked the lieutenant governor about the issue at an unrelated event at the State House Wednesday. She told me she has not spoken with the AG or Holly McLaren, who the campaign hired to gather signatures, paperwork, which is now under scrutiny. Why not? I have no, no reason to speak with them, and right now the AG is the one that is conducting the investigation. I'm not conducting an investigation. Matto said her team is ready to cooperate in the criminal probe, but expressed her concern with the ripple effects it's taken so far. It's my name and it's my campaign that has been basically um, associated with this um, unfortunate incident. So, of course, I have concern about that. And my biggest concern is that there are people out there that are going to fit into this um, conspiracy theory about elections and not. Uh, um, to be trusted, and I, I hate the fact that I'm being associated with that. We reached out to McLaren's attorney who told us his client has still not heard from investigators. He's previously said that he has offered to set up a meeting with prosecutors. With the Target 12 investigators, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.